Bismillah Rahman Rahim Assalamu Alaikum friends and subscribers this is Mehmood Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on a video tutorial series of Microsoft Word 2016 and if anyone wants to view the Hindi version of this series for them we will paste the link of, uh, of this video's Hindi version in description below ok so in this video we will be going to discuss three of uh, of the commands that are present inside page setup one is breaks line numbers and another one the last one is hyphenation okay in our last class or in our last movie we had discussed these four uh, commands uh, of page setup and in this video we'll be going to discuss these three commands okay so first is page break first is breaks okay so uh, as i said before a page setup is used uh, for uh, for to prepare your document for printing okay uh, once you do the um, do the uh, documents when you prepare once you prepare the documents when you enter all your data inside your document then uh, you need to prepare your document for printing okay if you want to take a printout or a hard copy of a document then you should prepare your document for printing preparing our document for printing uh, is applying these many settings to your document okay these many options these four options we have already discussed in our previous movie and in this movie we will be going to discuss breaks line numbers and hyphenation okay in breaks you will get some options like page column text wrapping next page continuous even page and odd page okay okay um, you have first option is page okay now my cursor is at the end of the paragraph and now if i go to page and click on page option then you can see I will be redirected to second page here you can see I have three pages in my document and but um, previously I was on my first page the moment I go break and then click page I directly redirected to my second page okay so first page option is um, takes you to the second page no, from your first page okay and second uh, this column is right now i have one column in my document okay in my last movie i heard i have shown you how to create two columns in your document uh, let me just create it i will create uh, two columns click on column okay now i will just copy this and come at the end of the document and then enter till you get the end of the page and the moment when you reach at the end of the page see word will redirect it to second column now I have pasted that data which I had copied from here. Okay, now here I have two columns. Okay, now what I will do, I will go to breaks and I will now right now I am in my first column. See if I click on column, see now it has taken me to the first uh, first line of the second column. Okay, so and if I click on column again, then it will take me to the third column of the same document. Now if I click column again now it will take me to the fourth column of my document see? so uh, pages option page option allows you to move between your pages and column option uh, will allow you to move between your columns in your document if you have two column layout then column for column option allows you to move or shift between your columns okay now we'll just press ctrl z okay save it and third option is text wrapping okay now here on my i kept my cursor on the starting point of my text and now i will go to break and click on text wrapping you can see an extra space or line is added at the beginning of the text now if i again go and click on text wrapping an extra another extra line will get added above this text now, now if i keep this cursor at the end of the paragraph and if i go Page break and I again click text wrapping. You can see now I am reader. Now I am now I have been taken to the next line. Again I will go and click on text wrapping. Now I will now I will be taken to the second line. So text wrapping allows you to uh, wrap your text with the spaces. Okay, and the next page. Now I am in my now I am at the end of the paragraph. Now if I go to breaks and click on next page, it will take me to the second page. You can see here right now I am in my second page. Okay, and then. click page and then if you click on continuous right now I am on my last line of my paragraph if you click on breaks and then click on continuous okay then okay. 
now I'm in my first. Uh, now I'm on the starting of my document. Uh, now if I go to breaks and click on continuous, that will uh, take my entire para to the next line. Again, if I click on continue, again it will take me to the next line of my document. Okay, so continue allows us to uh, move to the next line. Okay. Save it and then further if I go to page uh, break uh, options and then if I click on even page then I will be redirected to even page you can here you can see 2, 4, 6 even pages like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 okay so right now I am in my first page if I click on even page I will be redirected to the second page you can see now I am in my second page okay now from here if I click even page again we can see now I am in my fourth page okay so even page um, moves or take the content of the document to even pages even pages like two four six eight like that press ctrl z now if I click on a break again and if I click on odd page it will take me to the third page okay odd pages it will uh, move our data between odd pages now I'm in my third page if I again go to breaks and click on odd page it will take me to the fifth page okay so um, odd option takes us to the odd pages takes the data or takes the user to the odd pages and even uh, even option takes the user or the data to the even pages okay so these are the few of the options that are present inside breaks command and then we have a command for line numbers if I click on this I will get some options like continuous now right now my cursor is on the starting point of the para if I click continuous then you can see line numbers continuously I will be getting the line numbers on each of the line if I keep on entering line number will be keep on adding to my document okay and the next option which we have is hyphenation okay hyphenation is uh, used or it will uh, uh, it will put a hyphen at the end of the line okay right now you can see uh, I don't have I have space here I have a space so what I will do is I will just go to hyphenation and click automatic you can see okay I will try from here ms word okay ms word I will click on hyphenation. I will select first. I will select none, and if I click on automatic, then you can see it will hyphenation try to adjust the space which is left at the end of the para and tries to put a dash or hyphen. Okay, if I press, press select and select none, you can see uh, there is a little bit of space is left at the end of the line okay if i click on hyphenation hyphenation option and then click on automatic you, might, you can see there might be some changes here okay uh, this space this extra space will get filled up once i select automatic you see the business which was previously uh, starting in the next line have come up to the second line at the end and the remaining text has been shifted to the third line with a hyphen added at the end okay so this is the use of hyphenation we can set our text uh, we can distribute our text equally on both the sides either on the left and the right side and we can put a hyphenation like this and we have put kept a hyphenation or hyphen is been added automatically at the end of the paragraph okay so these are the so these are some of the options that are present inside page setup so page setup basically allows us to prepare our document for printing once we completed our documentation and if we want to take the printout or a hard copy of our document then we have to make some adjustment or we need to make some settings in order to take the printout of that copy now what are those settings or what are those options are actually we, we will find those options inside layout tab inside layout tab we have page setup options in that we will find all the necessary options that we can use to apply for our document before taking a print out of it okay so i hope you uh, like this video i hope you got some useful information out of this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel click on like button share it with your friends and yeah that's all guys thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video